back again with our box lessons. In my previous video, I have covered simple addition and simple advanced addition and subtraction, and I have also covered decimal addition and subtraction. But today, we'll be working on multiplication. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to know our tables from 1 to 9. But we need to know that we need two sets for this, for multiplication. So this is my answer set, and this is my question set. And when I say set, I mean each and every four dots is a set. So this is a set, this is a set, this is a set, and this is a set too. But now it's up to you whichever two sets you choose. So for me, this is my answer set, and this is my question set. But in my previous videos, we did addition and subtraction, and this was the units rod, and tens, hundreds, and so on. And in my decimal, we did, this is our units and decimal rod, and this is tens, hundreds, thousands. But each, now this will be different. Each set will have its individual units rod. So this is a units rod, and this is also a units rod. And you know what? You could choose any two sets, like this set and this set. That's up to you. So now let's get started. Let's do 13 times 8. First, we'll see which is the bigger number, 13 or 8. Obviously, 13. So considering this is my units and text bra, I'm going to place 13. 1, 3, 13. Now, I'm going to multiply each of the numbers by 8. So I'm going to take 8, 8 into 1, which is 8. And I'm going to place 8 on the 10th rod, since my 1 is on the 10th rod too. I can subtract it to show that I'm done with that number, or I can leave it there. It doesn't really matter. So next we do 8 times 3. I'm supposed to do that, on my ones rod, but since I don't, since I, it's a two digit number, I cannot set it on one rod, I need to take help of my tenths rod. Well, tenths rod is too full, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to my hundreds rod. I'm gonna add a hundred, subtract the eighty, and add a four. What I just used here is a big, big friend process. And at this point, this time of the video if you're like confused go back in my other videos where I explained big boss and small small boss so let's try another one let's do 9 times 17 this time again we choose the bigger number which is 17 1 7 17 I place that on my question set now I need to multiply each of the numbers individually by 9. So first I'll do 9 times 1, which is 9. Again, I place that on my tenths rod. Then, I have to do 9 times 7, which is 63. I'm supposed to do that on my ones rod, but two digit I cannot fit that all onto ones rod, so I need to take help on my tenths rod. But my tenths rod is full. So again, I'm taking help of my hundreds rod. I'm going to add a hundred, subtract the four, 40, and add a three. That gives us the answer of 153. Now we'll still be doing multiplication, but we'll be trying three digit into one digit. So let's say we do 672 times 6. Again, I place the bigger number on my question set. But this time, I'll start with my hundreds place. 672. <clears throat> then, I multiply each of the numbers by 6. Well, this time, 6 times 6 is 36. But, I need to end my answer on the hundreds rod. So, I cannot exactly start on the hundreds rod, because it's a two-digit number. I'm going to start 
on my thousandths rod. 36. Then I'm going to do 6 times 7, which is 42. 42. Then I'm going to do 6 times 2, which is 12. 1, 2, 12, which gives us the answer of 4032. Now let's try another problem, which is 4 digit number into 1 digit number. It's the same process. I take the bigger number on my question set. So let's do 2902 times 3. I'll place 2,902 <clears throat> on my question set. Then, I multiply each number by 3. So, 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to place that on my thousandths rod, since my 2 is on my thousandths rod. And it finishes at the thousandths rod. Then, I'll do 3 times 9, 27. I'm supposed to do that on my hundredths rod, but it's since I don't have space, I'm going to take help on my thousandths rod. Then I'm going to do 3 times 0, which is 0. Then I'm going to leave this rod blank. And now I'm going to do 3 times 2, 6. I'm going to add that product on my units rod. So that leaves us with the answer of 8706, 8706. Now we'll be trying a two digit into two digit problem. <clears throat> Let's try 43 into 61. In this case, we're going to break the problem apart. First, we're going to do 43 times 6. So I'm going to place a bigger number on my question set, 43. Then I multiply it by 6. 6 times 4, 24. 6 times 3, 18. Which leaves us with the answer 258. But ideally in my question when I do 43 to 61, 6 is a 60. So I'm going to have to add a 0 over here. So the answer is 2580. But I'm not done with the problem yet. Because I need to do 43 into 1 because I'm breaking down the problem. And 43 into 1, as we can, almost all of us can do it in our heads, it's 43. And then we're just going to have to add the numbers up. 2580 plus 43 plus 40. Three, which gives us the answer of 2623. So now we're going to try square problems. And these are just like some normal problems and we can do them by multiplication too. But doing square is a much easier and a much faster way. So let's get to it. Let's try 65 squared. So first, for whenever I see it's a two-digit number ending with a 5, there's a really easy technique to do it. All we have to do is take the last number, which is 5, and I square 5. 5 times 5, 25. And then we do take the first number and multiply it by the next number. So in this case it should be 6 times 7, which is 42. Then I say, then I put, put it together as 4, 2, 2, 5. Now, the same way we could do a different problem like 35 square. As long as it's a two digit number and it ends with a 5, it, we can do it in the same method. Now let's try square, but it with a slightly harder problem. So let's try 73 square. Again, we can do this by multiplication, but this is a much faster and effective way to do it. So 
For 73, it does not end with a 5, so I cannot apply this technique. This time, I'm going to keep my back at the side, but yeah. So, at first I need to round 73 to 70 or 80. And 73 is closest to 70. So I'll round 73 to 70. And then, with my back is, I'll do 73 minus 70, which is 3. I'm going to be needing the difference of 3 later. So I'm going to just write that in the corner. Then I need to do 70 into 73 plus 3. 73 plus 3 is 76. So I need to multiply 76 by 70. So first I'm going to do 76 into 7. And I need to remember to add the 0 from 70 at the end. So, as usual, I'm going to take the bigger number, 76, and place it on my question set. Then, I'm going to do 7 times 7, 49. 4, 9. Then I'm going to do 7 times 6, 42. Which leaves us the result of 5320. But we're not over yet. Remember when I said we might need the difference of handy later? Well, we need to do 5320 plus the square of the difference. For our case, the difference is 3, so 3 squared is 9. So we need to do 5320 plus 9 which should be plus 9, 5,329. And that's it, I guess. That's it for today. See you in my next videos. I hope you enjoyed. And like, subscribe, and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for listening.